New at 10 o'clock tonight, a stolen trailer filled with quilts worth, worth more than $100,000 has been recovered. But tonight, this news is bittersweet because many of those quilts are gone. That trailer was taken from a hotel parking lot and then found on the opposite side of town at a repair shop. These quilts were supposed to be on display at the quilt convention here in Houston. That's where Jonathan Martinez is joining us live with the disappointing news. Jonathan. Yeah, Dom, it's really been an up and down week for this quilt company. Ultimately, that trailer was supposed to end up here at the GRB for a huge quilt show, but it never made it after being stolen. Then we get word that detectives found that trailer and returned it to its owners. However, most of the items inside still missing. I'd always hope, but I kind of didn't even think we'd ever see it again. Several days after being stolen, a trailer that had over $125,000 in handmade quilts is returned to its rightful owner. However, most of the quilts are gone and anything else still inside left damaged. They have no idea what they've destroyed. Basically, everything's just been thrown. I don't know what's busted. And to be honest with you, I don't think it's all here or even close. The trailer was stolen from a hotel parking lot earlier this week with all the owners of Quilters Apothecary had in town for the world's largest quilt convention. Investigators say a tip from the community led them to that trailer along with an apparent theft ring with several other stolen vehicles. This is another prime example of the community working with police to uh, apprehend bad guys. Uh, without the community's help, we wouldn't be standing here today. How can we not be so thankful with just so far what we have? So far, no arrests have been made in the case, but investigators say they do have an idea of several suspects. They say the important thing now was to get the trailer back to the owners in time for the convention as the investigation and search for the missing quilts continues. There's so much at stake for everybody, for us. I mean, it's our livelihood, all, everything we've worked for, absolutely everything. In another good note on this story, the company that housed or stored that trailer after it was recovered by police and before being returned to the owners, well, they decided not to charge that quilt company, saying that company has already been through quite a bit. If you know where those quilts are tonight, you are urged to contact police. We are reporting live tonight near Discovery Green. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thanks.